didn't know, but I still gotta sew. There was a time in my life where I was trying to get away from doing my own thing. I knew that God exists. I believed in his son, Jesus Christ. And I had already experienced situations that should have left me dead, but God was with me. In the process of trying to do my of trying not to do my own thing, I was still doing my own thing because it's a process. It starts with your mind. You make a decision to want to do better. Part of the process is actually figuring out how to do better. At that time in my life, I didn't know that I had to make a daily decision to seek better, think better, know better, want better, and do better. If you're like me and you tangled your life with someone who was not sent by God, just be honest with yourself. I freely admit that I, that was one of the dumbest things that I did in my life back then. There is no other excuse other than the fact that I was not thinking. Even in my stupidity, God can still get the glory and one of the reasons that he gets the glory is because I'm not stupid now. I didn't know, but I still got to sew. I didn't know the magnitude of my stupidity, but I still have to sow good seed in order for God to get the glory. To sow means to plant seed by scattering it on or in the earth. I also choose to sow good seed for my own peace. In Galatians chapter 6 verse 7, it says, Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. I choose to sow seeds of peace and love. Not because that other person deserves it. It's the right thing to do. And that's why I choose to do that. God didn't show me mercy by sparing my life so that I could keep it to myself. I didn't deserve God's mercy back then, and I don't deserve it now, but I still choose to receive God's mercy. I receive it and then I give it away and in return I am given more of God's mercy. I do not do this in my own strength. I go to God daily about this. For some, sowing peace and love looks like having meals with each other or going on vacations with each other. That's not for me. With me, it is more about what I do and what I say when no one is watching. I have developed a mindset in knowing that God is always watching. It is not just my actions of showing, uh, sowing seeds of peace and love, but it's also my motive. Why am I doing what I'm doing? The thing I want everyone to remember is God sees our heart. My encouraging scripture is coming from Galatians chapter 6 verses 8 and 9. Whoever sows to please their flesh from the flesh will reap destruction. Whoever sows to please the spirit from the spirit will reap eternal life. Oh, sorry. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up.